House Speaker Paul Ryan said that the commutation is just outrageous, and Elena Pentagon officials said that Defense Secretary Ash Carter was against this move. Well, Margaret, did we have any indication that the president was going to do this? Well, we knew President Obama was going to leave office with uh, an expected slew of pardons and commutations. The White House is very proud at pointing to the fact that he has commuted more sentences uh, than the last 11 presidents combined. However, when it comes to the case of Chelsea Manning in particular, this was a surprise. This is a lightning rod case, as, as you can imagine, uh, particularly given uh, the response so far, not only from Pentagon officials, but from Republicans, including House Speaker Paul Ryan, uh, particularly in the wake of these recent revelations of Russian hacking and a suggestion that WikiLeaks was working with Russia when it comes to revealing secrets about the Democratic National Committee and trying to disrupt the U.S. election, it did surprise many to see President Obama uh, re pardon anyone who had any kind of tie to WikiLeaks, like Chelsea Manning did. Well, Margaret, what about the timing here? Do we know why Manning is being released in May and not sooner? Well, the White House said today in a call with journalists that uh, Manning has time served now of, you know, close to six years and 102 days, um, that her sentence of 35 years was far greater than anyone else with a similar crime. As for what happens after May, it's not clear what's next for Manning, but the White House said they did want to make sure that she had time to make adequate preparations to leave the prison that she's been at, the military prison. Uh, so you just answered my next question then, Margaret, about do we know yet where Manning may go and what she might do after she's released? Well, we don't. We don't yet from the lawyers who we've reached out to, but not yet received that kind of detail. But what we do know is that there has been a legal argument that Chelsea Manning and her lawyers have been making to allow her to fully complete her gender transition and undergo full surgery, something that she started and not finished. Uh, so you can imagine that that will continue to be a priority following her release in May as a civilian. Uh, but as for the particulars of where she's going to go, it's not clear yet. And Margaret, what are White House officials telling you about why the president decided to commute Manning's sentence? And do we know whether there's a similar plan to do the same thing with someone like Edward Snowden? Well, the White House draws a strong distinction between Chelsea Manning, uh, formerly private Bradley Manning, who not only went to court, faced the charges against her and has served time, as I said, upwards of uh, six years now, uh, to someone like Edward Snowden, also, uh, you know, someone who was accused of stealing government secrets and leaking them for publication to WikiLeaks, but someone who was a government contractor who then fled the country, who did not face any time in court. And the White House would say uh, that Edward Snowden should return to the U.S. and face his actions, something that Chelsea Manning did do. Chelsea Manning also expressed remorse for her crimes, and she's spoken at length about that. Edward Snowden has not done that. Edward Snowden has also been given asylum by the Russian government. Moscow, as you know, of course, is accused of espionage against the U.S. most recently uh, with the hacking of the U.S. election. So that suggestion and the connection between the two is something that causes deep concern to many U.S. officials. All right. Margaret Brennan at the White House. Margaret, thank you.